What's up, everybody? Enjoying my Peterson St. Patrick's Day 2013 pipe, restored by CaneRodPipes.com. Check him out if you have a pipe that needs to be restored with some Carter Hall. Mm. I'm ready to relax, but real quick video. I wanted to share my fried turkey nuggets recipe with you, and I can't take credit for it. It actually came from a good friend of mine named Brian Carroll, and, uh, it, but I wanted to share it with you because it is fabulous. Um, one of the things about wild turkey meat that I, I really like is that it doesn't taste gamey at all. Um, it tastes very, very good, but uh, as I would assume real turkey is, it's very, very tender meat, and it's super easy to overcook it, okay? So here's my recipe, and here's my tips. First of all, you want to fry your turkey meat in peanut oil, not vegetable oil, not canola, not any of the other stuff. You want to get peanut oil and fry your turkey nuggets in peanut oil, okay? That's number one. And get it very hot, okay? Because you're only going to fry that turkey nugget, uh, you know, at most, maybe two minutes long. Um, when I'm frying it, I'm looking at the coloration on the outside of it, and I pull it out of the peanut oil when it's got a kind of a light uh, tan light brown color to it because it will continue to cook even when you pull it out okay that's the key thing to remember here but my recipe is um, when you lay your breast out on your cutting board you're going to notice that turkey meat has a grain to it like pine wood or whatever you want to cut across the grain and the reason for that is when you put the nugget in your mouth and you pull you're going to be pulling bits of meat off of the grain, kind of like, you know, pine wood or whatever would chip as you're cutting it with a skill saw or whatever. Um, you, you want to cut your nuggets up across the grain, and I usually cut my nuggets about one inch square, maybe a little bit bigger than that. But that's about as big as I go with my nuggets. And again, that's why you only want to fry these things a very short period of time. Do not overcook your turkey meat, okay? But what I do is I cut them up in nuggets, one inch square nuggets, and I marinate them in zesty Italian dressing uh, in a Ziploc bag in my refrigerator. And you don't have to marinate them very long at all, 15 minutes or whatever, and you're good to go, okay? Then I take a cup of white flour and one huge tablespoon of Cajun seasoning, I dump that in my flour and I mix it up. And when I pull my nuggets out of the bag with the zesty Italian dressing on them, I roll them around in the um, uh, flour and Cajun seasoning. And then I drop them into my grease or my oil, peanut oil, and fry them up. Okay. What I what I finish them with is Frank's hot sauce. And... I'm telling you, this recipe will have you slapping yourself. It is so good. So, so good. So, all right, if you're lucky enough to take a turkey um, this spring, hope all of you do. Uh, that's my recipe for making some incredible, incredible turkey nuggets. They are, it's fantastic eating. Fantastic eating. It's, it's, um, arguably I like it better than the deer meat that I make up. So, uh, some of you who live close to me want to come on down. You need to come on down in the next day or two because I'll probably be frying some turkey nuggets up here for dinner tonight and then throughout the week. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Bye-bye.